Good morning. Welcome to Morning Motivation by Kingdom Evangelism UK. We have been focusing in our series on the word motivation. We said M was for master, O was for opportunity, and we said T stood for taking action. All of the other videos outline in detail different principles that are involved in motivation. The word motivation is not a bad word. It's not an immoral word. The word motivation means passion. It means drive. It means having the inspiration to get something done, regardless of the obstacles facing the individual. Today, we're going to be looking at the second I, and that I will stand for investment. Motivational people invest in themselves. Primarily two things. They invest their time wisely and they invest their talent. Right from the book of Genesis, we see the importance of investment. In Genesis chapter 26 and verse 21, it says, Isaac dug another well. A well in the Bible times were a sign of blessing, a sign of prosperity. It was a sign of God blessing not just the individual, but an entire generation. Wells were passed from one generation to the next. Isaac, being one of the patriots, had inherited the wealth from Abraham. Abraham inherited his blessing from Melchizedek in Genesis chapter 14. So here we can see the generational lineage of the patriots. Investment is a product of stewardship. Stewardship is a principle that God expects us to employ to improve our daily lives. In Deuteronomy chapter 8 and verse 18, it says, I am the Lord thy God. I give thee power to get wealth. Wealth does not offend God. In the book of Genesis, we see this progression in Genesis 47, where Joseph, in the time of famine, begins to prosper miraculously. Let's look at the New Testament. In St. Matthew chapter 25, we read of the account of a master that goes on a journey and leaves his servants with various portions of income. The word talent by the way, in the Old Testament means a unit of measurement. Talent was used to measure gold and silver. In the New Testament, the word talent represents a unit of money. There is a lot of talk recently in the news about inflation. Now, what is inflation? Inflation is the erosion of the value of money. In economics, it's seen as too much money chasing too many goods and services. So the demand is greater than the supply, therefore pushing up prices. How will you and I survive in a period of inflation? Here's one thing we can invest wisely. We can invest our time wisely and our talent. The second I in motivation, we're going to use to represent 
investment of two things, our time as well as our talent. In set matter 25, one servant receive five, the other two and the other one. One of the servants buried his talent because he felt that the master was ungrateful. The other servant was very astute. They traded their talent and was able to increase the value of their talent. The master came back and said, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. This means that God values investment. God values productivity. God rewards productivity. Inflation is not just a measurement of the erosion of the value of money, but inflation with time measures the value of money. So one thing you and I can do to offset, to offset inflation is to invest above the level of inflation. The current target of inflation, I think, was 2%. So what tools and instruments do you and I have, apart from our time and our talent, that we can use to combat rising prices. Well, we have time, the value of time, and two, we are given talents or gifts that we can use to invest wisely. To remain motivated, we must consistently invest our time and our talent wisely so that we can be rewarded. I find it amazing that the body of Christ is primarily divided over these two issues. One segment believes in prospering. Another segment thinks it's absolutely immoral. But the Bible is replete with many examples of people who prospered by applying biblical principles. What well can you dig in your life this year? On another occasion, when Isaac dug a well, he called it Rehoboth, because the Lord made room for him. I'm going to agree with you that this year, the Lord is going to make room for you. That if you're not slothful, you will invest your money with the bankers. Not literally. You will invest your money in appropriate places and invest your time so that you can be a faithful servant who God can reward. The best place to invest your income or some of your income is in the kingdom of God. Invest in your time and your resources to enlarge the kingdom and expand the kingdom of God. These are important imperatives in the Bible. What can you do this week different than last week? What can you do this year that's different from last year? Have you ever thought about different ways to invest your time. Have you found yourself in a dead-end job? Have you found yourself in a career that extinct? Or a gift that has expired? Maybe you need to dig another well. Because God honors productivity. Proverbs chapter 8 it's a very interesting text. It speaks about wisdom. And how wisdom cries in the street. And those who seek 
wisdom early shall be rewarded. Ultimately, the Bible is focused on you developing all your resources so that God is fulfilled and is overjoyed to reward you as a good and faithful servant. I'm going to challenge you to invest in your gift, invest in your talent, invest in your resources. I'm going to challenge you to invest time in the kingdom principles so that your next generation can benefit from what you have done. Most of the very successful billionaires who were Christians made a financial covenant with God, such as the founder of Palmolive Company, the founder of the Quaker Oats Company, and the founder of most of our oil companies, John Rockefeller, who originally started teaching Bible lessons in Sunday school. That's right, Sunday school. How are you spending your time? Because God wants to reward every moment of your time. He came that you will have life and have it more abundantly. Stay tuned for our next Morning Motivation where we focus on another acronym. And I trust that today your time, your talent will be invested wisely. Thank you for listening to Morning Motivation.